Okay, this is uh, we're gonna do some dissection. I'm gonna be taking this, showing you how to take take in, in some differences on the uh, distributor cap. The distributor cap on the six cylinder just had six leads instead of four. Other than that, it was identical. On some of them, you will run into a vent screen system which replaced the hoses. They are interchangeable. You can change these for the hoses or put the hoses on, whatever. Both of them work fine. Now, are these wires tur uh, twisted on or are they made right into the cap? Excellent. Excellent. Excellent question. Okay, so if we are replacing the wires for this thing, you pull off your end. Let me get a pair of pliers. I'll show you how to do that. Not, well, oh, you put the Marines that, in. That, yeah, well, this is a little piece that I was trying to avoid <laughs> right here. You need this as well, and a lot of times it gets stretched and you have to replace it. Right. But these are replaceable ends. I'll get this out so you can look at it. Let me do another one. It is how I like to do it. Okay. <laughs> so I take them out like this. And then I don't bend, I don't unspring the spring. I reach in there and I grab it. You'll see it when I bring it out. Yeah. There it is right there like that. That's the little end. And that's driven in. You've got, you expose a little bit at the end when you put in new wires. Typically I find that these, and then you've got your number. Whenever you are doing these wires, if you have to replace them, especially on an older six cylinder, one at a time. Do not take them all off at once, so you will regret it bitterly because they're all different lengths. Then you pull it off. It's 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 time consuming. Typically on these yellow wires, uh, I find that they rarely fail, so I'm not in any condition to replace them unless. They've been chewed on by a mouse. Other than that, they seem to be extremely expensive, durable material. Then you unscrew it. This goes for all the distributor caps, six cylinder, four cylinder, old and new. Old style distributor cap is screwed in the same way. I don't just yank it out, unscrew it. And we'll see how we're doing. There we go, all right, threaded. Oh, okay. And okay. You, and there is a tool that needs, if you pull well, this out of here, you're going to have to put another end on, correct? Yes. Um, if you're going to put it out, then you have to get new ends. Uh, they're a Raja clamper. I got one over here. This is used on old and new light. Mercury never offered these. I found one of these online. It's a, it's a Raja clamper tool, it crimps it, and you don't want to get too hefty. Second of all, the aftermarket ends, this end right here, the aftermarket ends don't fit on new cable very well. The Mercury ones do. They're worth the extra money. Okay, so that's the cap. Good question. Thank you for bringing that up. So, now we're back on to the newer style uh, system. Uh, this nut is a weird size. I think it's that, hang on, I'll get the right wrench for it. Funny is that after 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. It's 1130 seconds, I do believe the nut is. Just to make life miserable. <laughs> and it is 1130 seconds, which most people don't have in their wrenches. No, they throw them away. Right. I've, ne I've never seen a nut like that. I don't need that right now. A couple of things to notice. Um, while you are doing this, there is a certain way that this band has to go on. Uh, it is clocked for a reason. Or indexed. Indexed, yes. Uh, all right. So, finally we've got this piece off. And if you look, it goes on a certain way. These two holes right here correspond to that right there. So you can rotate it either one way or the other. These places right here go down. They go around. 
but this is the way it goes on. Don't ask me why, but that's just the way it's supposed to go. This goes up, and these slots correspond to that thing right there so it doesn't cut into it. Now you try and get it off. Great, yes. All right, so we get it off, and if you look, it's indexed again. It goes right there. This is a gasket, which has a peel-off back and stick -em already applied to it. When you, get, when you get a new distributor housing, you want to put on a new gasket, and you want to index this properly, and then you want to put this band on properly, too. It goes on up like this, and then you line up the get an index. You got to hold everything together, and then deal with an 11 16 and make sure that that cutout matches right to where the uh, wires come out. Okay, and then you deal with that 11 16 nut, which is almost impossible to find a wrench for. Uh, and the screw is kind of short. But if you go for a longer one, then things slip out, so it's kind of what you're stuck with. Okay, so this is what we've got next. This is the four-cylinder. This is one that is marked. It says motor side out. I'm going to take apart a six-cylinder one because that's this one. I will. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go. What I used to do is just put it up. You all right? So you so scratched it, into the plate. To I scratched that. it into the plate, right. All right, so the next thing we got to do is got to bend in these little tabs here. Um, I don't know if you can see them right here. Oh, they got a lock on them. Yep, they got a lock. They... I'm probably not bending them enough. Maybe it's enough. Let's hope it is. There we go. Okay. So I'm unscrewing this cap. Next we have a washer. And then you can pull this thing apart. It pulls, push down on the spring. Now, if you notice, down here there is another washer. plastic it is beveled solid on one side you put this on upside down and this thing won't work the uh, spark advance will not work so you want to make damn sure when you put it back together again that that's the right way up because it's curved there's, right down yeah, there there's a shoulder right down there's radius a sh shoulder sh huh? yeah radius shoulder to keep it from breaking off okay so now here we are we've got the locking mechanism off we've got the uh, little spring that sits underneath it off and now we want to get this bearing out so I'll take two fairly small screwdrivers so you don't recommend slamming that onto the back side you can't because it's kept at the bottom with don't the clamp good I hear you trying to tie that. well that's what they, that's that's exactly right they are going to try and well, that's I'm extremely lucky I was able to get this one out. That does not happen very often. It's going to sound it's pretty rare, weird. and I probably still buggered it, but we'll see. Every once in a while, you get lucky and can get them out. You don't need to replace it, but the standard procedure was you replace this bearing. It was in the mercury thing. You, That's what you had to do, so... And then if somebody boogered the top by hitting it with a hammer, that would um, not come off the top either. But All right. Did I bugger it on the back side? Yes, I did. I dented the shield. So Well, I don't think... Okay, so now, if you look in there, there's a nut. We have to undo that. Yeah. yeah. That's going to take a thin wall socket. Yes, it is. Yes, three quarters. Okay, this is where... If you're lucky, undoing this, 
you won't ruin this. Okay? Sometimes you do. Sometimes you come off too hard. You end up having to get a new a new rotor as well. Okay, so I think that's on. It's, it's holding it. Let's just see. What Mercury recommended was taking a pair of these pliers and see if we get a piece of cardboard or something here. Use no, like cloth or something like that. Is that Quicksilver cardboard? Yes, recommended. By Kiki for himself. Mm. Kiki was gone when they were doing this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good thing he lost his mind. <laughs> He was, that was his, his creation, that one over there, the older one. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we got to stick, uh, get a wrench on that. I'll put a wrench on that. I'll hold this. Right that there. way I can, I can feel it before it breaks. Okay. All right. Well, it's going to break. It's going to break. Uh, we got lucky. Wow, somebody didn't run it on there with an air cool well, of some kind. Well, pretty hard. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this out, but... Now hopefully I can stick my screwdriver in there and hold it while I turn it. Probably won't be able to. Nope. This is three quarter inch deep sockets. Wait a minute. Go ahead. 13, 16. Turn that, Let me see if I can find a three quarter deep socket that's a little bit thinner. Go ahead and just turn that. I got it locked with a screwdriver. You do? Okay. <laughs> no. Not enough. Let's, let's do it with this. Huh? Okay. okay. It let's, let's turn it some more. A key for cardboard? Yeah. I got so many of these freaking things upstairs. It's okay. We need the wrench again. I guess I better go the whole way. It slipped. Oh, I felt better. Yeah. Okay, let me just get this off of here, see if I can turn it better. Hopefully I'm turning it. I think I am. You got loose. I think I'm out. Yes, I am. There's the nut right there. Okay, now... Now you hope again that this thing isn't stuck in there too bad. And let me get my rubber mallet. It's Raja mallet. There we go. Raja. Okay. Remember, we don't want to ruin that end right there with a the steel hammer. Okay, I got lucky. Got it out. Here's the plate Show with its plate. up mark on it and here is the collar and Which here is the spacer that hold it, it held everything together so this was like this in here and this only goes in one way right that went in um, after this okay we want to put this up so that would be that way and let's get it into the proper slot we can get it in there and then put that one on. Dirty old slot. Yeah, dirty old slot, but it's a, it works. Yep. It holds it in. Then we could replace that bearing right in there. Pull that, well, I'll pull, it, I'll pull that apart too, what the heck. Got a pair of snap ring pliers? I think I do, yeah. Okay. Our Reich's taking things apart. <laughs> yourself in the face with it. Yeah, right, exactly. Then, you know, this is how you get it out. There's the bottom bearing right there. Make sure they roll over easy. All right, so let's put it back together again real quick here. Should we stop for a minute and then start the re reassembly procedure? Yeah. All right, let's stop.